Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create room tone or presence in Reaper. In filmmaking or television production, room tone or presence is the silence recorded at a location or space where no dialogue is spoken. It's similar to ambience, except there's no background noise like traffic or birds singing in the park. It's much more subtle, but still very important. Room tone is recorded during the production stage, so it may be intercut with the dialogue to smooth out any sound edits to make it sound more natural. So let's see how it's done. I have a project set up here with a video and some audio files I already cut up. Now, as we can see, I cleaned it up completely, removing any breaths or any spaces between the audio, making it sound as clean as possible. But you'll hear those spaces sound unnatural. Let's hear it. You are doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago. There is an entire world out there where people fight to be relevant every single day, and you act like it doesn't exist. Things are happening in a place that you ignore, a place that, by the way, has already forgotten about you. You're doing this because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. And you know what? You're right. You don't. It's not important, okay? You're not important. Get used to it. But if you notice over here, there's a lot of room tone or a silence where she's not speaking, we could use to create room tone in those spaces. So let's start by creating a time selection. We'll go up here to the ruler and just select an area of the quiet section. Right about here, select the item and then right click and go down here and choose copy loop of selected area of items. That's just gonna copy within the time selection, a section we can loop. So you can make the silence or room tone as long as you want. Select it. Then we'll go over here underneath this track, type W to go to the beginning and paste it. So now we could trim the right side of this item to make it as long as we need. Cause you can see right here, it loops in certain sections. And because we created a loop to make the silence longer, we need to make sure the loop doesn't glitch so we don't hear where it loops. So let's make it a lot louder. Let's solo it and let's hear the loop point. It sounds pretty smooth to me. Sounds okay. So we could use this loop section for our room tone. Let's put it back to normal volume. And now we have the room tone on a separate track, which we could use underneath our edited voice. But there's a problem with doing it this way. This audio already has the room tone on it. So we'll get double the room tone over here with single over here, which isn't gonna work. We just want to add room tone when she's not talking in the silent spaces. And we could do that with this trick. Let's select all these items on this track by double clicking the track. Then we'll go up here to the options and make sure we turn on trim content behind media items when editing. This is important because we need to trim as we copy from track to track. Turn this on. And I like to turn on locking over here, right click it, and turn on items, prevent left right movement. This way we don't put the voice out of time with our video. Turn it on. And now we could grab all these items and drag it down to this track, our room tone track. And if we drop it, notice what happens. We have the room tone in between but not over here. Drag it back. We can see what happened. It punched a hole in that room tone track. Put it back. And now we have our voice 
and the room tone in between. Perfectly in those spaces. And as you can see, it also crossfaded perfectly. Let's move it back to this track by selecting all of it, drag it up. Now we don't need this track anymore. And we should have our room tone and the voice sounding more natural. Let's hear it. You are doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago. There is an entire world out there where people fight to be relevant every single day. And you act like it doesn't exist. Things are happening in a place that you ignore. A place that, by the way, has already forgotten about you. You're doing this because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. And you know what? You're right. You don't. It's not important, okay? You're not important. Get used to it. As you can tell, the result is perfect. In all the spaces, we have room tone, and when she's talking, we don't, as the room tone is already there underneath her performance. You are doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago. There is an entire world out there where people fight to be relevant every single day. So that's pretty much it. That's how you create room tone or presence in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. You're killing me, Smalls. Ah!